Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our direct to core kit for the 2006 to 2007 Subaru WRX and STI. Tools needed to install the direct fit oil core kit on the 2006 to 2007 Subaru WRX and STI are 27 millimeter wrench, one inch wrench, two 10 millimeter wrenches, quarter drive ratchet, extension, 12 millimeter socket, 27 millimeter socket, three eighths drive extension, torque wrench, flat head screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, pop clip tool, scissors, oil, and a funnel. Installation time is about three hours and is a four out of five on the difficulty level. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do to start the install is we're gonna jack the car up and place it securely on jack stands. Now that we have the car securely placed on jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and remove the six pop clips from the upper portion of the bumper. Next, I remove the four pop clips that hold the side grill inserts to the front of the bumper. Next, take some painter's tape and run a line of tape underneath the front of the two side grills. This is so when you're pulling the grills out, they fit really tight on the bumper, and this way it'll protect your bumper from getting scraped up. Next, we're going to remove the side grills. All right, so if you're asking yourself why we're having you remove these little grill pieces, it's because Subaru actually hid two of the pop clips to remove the bumper behind these. Next, remove all the hardware from the lower splash shield, and then remove the splash shield. Next, remove the six pop clips from the side splash shield. There's three on each side. Once you remove them, pull the splash shields down, and it'll reveal two hidden pop clips that are the remaining ones that hold the bumper onto the front of the car. Next, we're gonna remove the two screws that hold the corners of the back part of the bumper to the fenders. There is one on each side. Now that you have all the hardware removed from the bumper, go ahead and pull on the corners of the bumper and towards the headlight, and that'll release the pop clips from the sides of the bumper. Next, remove the oil filter. Have an oil pan handy, because some oil will come out when you remove the filter. Okay, now it's time to install the sandwich plate. Now, for this kit, you can either purchase it with the traditional sandwich plate to allow use of sensors, or the thermostatic sandwich plate for full temperature control. On this kit, we're gonna use the thermostatic. Two things we're gonna do before we install the sandwich plate. One is making sure that the side nut is tight. This nut is what holds the thermostat in place inside the sandwich plate. And the other thing we're gonna do is, is take a little bit of oil and lube up the O-ring. This will give us a better seal when we install the sandwich plate. Okay, once you have the sandwich plate center bolt loosely installed, Go ahead and install the two banjo fittings facing downward loose. Okay, now we're gonna run the oil cooler lines. The first line we're gonna install is the lower oil cooler line. Now, this line runs between the body of the car and the side of the AC condenser. So we've supplied a small piece of rubber and two zip ties so that you can put that around the line so the line doesn't chafe against the AC condenser. Now we're gonna install the upper oil cooler line. Feed it up between the exhaust manifold and the frame. Next, feed the 45 degree hose fitting between the body and the headlight. Next, install the upper right bracket to the upper right hand corner of the oil cooler using the provided two 10 millimeter bolts and nuts.
Install the upper left bracket onto the top left of the foil cooler. Use M6 bolts and lock nuts to attach the bracket to the cooler. Next, install the lower bracket onto the other side of the oil cooler. This bracket is going to be a little bit difficult to get in to get the bolts attached because you have to put the nuts on the inside of the bracket. Okay, one last thing before we lay this oil cooler into the front of the car is we're going to remove the left 12 millimeter bolt from the hood release latch. Okay, now it's time to install the oil cooler into the front of the car. Once you have the oil cooler laid into the front of the car, go ahead and install the lines to the cooler. Now that we have the lines all tight, let's go ahead and reinstall the 12 millimeter bolt that's gonna hold the upper right bracket of the oil cooler to the front of the car. Next, install the provided 10 millimeter nut and bolt that'll hold the left bracket to the body of the car. Next, install the provided spacer between the lower bracket and this welded nut to the frame, and then install the one 10 millimeter bolt that'll hold it all together. Okay, now that we have our lines attached to the oil cooler, we're gonna go ahead and torque the sandwich plate center bolt. You use a 27 millimeter socket and tighten it down to 35 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, once you have the banjo bolts tight, go ahead and tighten the lines to the banjos. So as you can see, the exhaust manifold sits really close to these lines. So we've included some heat shielding to put around the lines to protect them. Measure out and cut two one-foot sections of the heat shielding to slip around the lines and then peel back the adhesive to get them to stick. Now remember, this heat shielding is made of fiberglass, so please wear gloves or else your hands are going to be itchy. Okay, now it's time to reinstall the oil filter, and we're gonna be good to go. Next, reinstall the bumper. Okay, now that the bumper is reinstalled on the front of the car, go ahead and reinstall the six pop clips on the top of the bumper. Next, reinstall the two outer grill pieces. Next, we install the pop clips that were hidden at first underneath the side splash shields into the bumper. Next, install all the pop clips that hold the side splash shields to the body of the car. Next, reinstall the two small screws that hold the back corners of the bumper to the fenders. All right, now it's time to fill the engine up with a little bit of oil. Once you have the oil added to the system, go ahead and start the car up. While you're letting the oil run through the cooler, go ahead and take a look and see if there's any leaks. Next, reinstall the lower splash shield.
Once you've added the oil to the system, start the car up, let it run for a minute or two, shut it back off, and check the level on the dipstick. Yep, right on the money. Okay, that concludes the installation of the 2006-2007 WRX and STI oil cooler kit. Go take your car out for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.